Hello, it's the Reverend Mike Mickey, Rector at St. Andrew's Episcopal Church. I want to thank you for clicking on today's Advent word, which is promise. Uh, I find myself once again at Target here. Uh, I just got out of the Target optical shop where I picked up some picked up my new prescription sunglasses. Uh, I have waited uh, many years to get prescription sunglasses, mostly because um, I've thought that that's something that old folks do. Like, uh, I don't need those. I have sunglasses, but I'm going to wear them with my contacts. Uh, to take off these glasses and put on prescription glasses, I don't know. I just wasn't ready to do it. But finally, kind of an epiphany dawned on me that it would be a good idea, and now I have them. Uh, I had to wait uh, to pick them up because it took a little while. So uh, Target promised me uh, that they'd have the, the glasses by a certain time. And sure enough, they came through. So I've been living in this expectation of the hope of this fulfilled promise of these glasses. Now, this is similar to uh, the promise that we have in our Lord Jesus Christ. You know, uh, promise is a theme all through the Bible. Uh, Paul picks it up in the book of Romans when he talks about how Abraham didn't give up on the promise that God ha had made to him. And uh, many of you, uh, need to receive the promises that God has given us. Promises of hope and joy and peace and love and acceptance from Him. And so you're kind of like me uh, after I got the text about my glasses being ready in between when I picked them up. These promises for you are ready and available for you to be picked up. All you have to do is just go get them, right? I want you to kind of Get in the car of your heart, drive to the store of God's promises, show up and say, can I receive them, please? And so be like me. Check this out. This is going to be only the second time I've ever put these on. Look at this. Are these not awesome? Don't you love them? I've now received the benefit of my new glasses, just as you will receive the benefit of the promises of God if you would just receive them. Friends, the Lord is for you. He's not against you. He loves you. He wants you to receive the promises that he has given us through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. All you need to do is receive them. I pray that you'll do that in your heart, in your life today. Have a blessed and wonderful day today. And remember, God loves you.